Hey guys, welcome back to Don't Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, August <laughs> uh, 26th. Today, June is seven months old. Isn't that crazy? I don't know if you can hear it outside, but it is raining. There's a window like right beside here and it is downpouring. Uh, it might start thundering or something. I don't know. I just wanted to hop on here and catch up with you guys. I haven't made a video since I think Tuesday. I don't even know if I put out a video Tuesday. I had all intentions to put out a uh, Whip Wednesday video, but Wednesday, June started to being really hard to take care of. <laughs> I don't know if she's teething or she has like a little cold because she's real, um, she got a runny nose and she's just, at night she's kind of congested and she's just been in a really bad mood. <laughs> uh, pretty much have to hold her nonstop um, for the last few days. So it's been really stressful and I haven't been able to do anything. <laughs> no crafting, no recording, no nothing. I did try to vlog, I think Wednesday. And then I, did, I took a few clips today because we started out, uh, good today <laughs> but then we go all the way to the town next to us which is a 25 minute drive and then we realized we left the diaper bag at home and june was hungry so we had to run we instead of running home because we you know i didn't want her crying for 25 minutes on my home we went to a store and bought <laughs> we had to buy a can of formula a bottle some water and a bag of diapers and you know it's just it was funny it was our own fault though so it ended up <laughs> like another rough day so yeah Devin's got the baby right now he's in there and Jesse's in there with them and so I came in here and I want I wanted to show you I did have a crochet a little tiny bit on my Halloween um like advent thingy and I got some a couple acquisitions and uh a big happy mail box today that I wasn't expecting it wasn't on my um those emails, I forget what it's called, informed delivery, it wasn't on that until today, it said that it was ready for pickup, so like the tracking wasn't on there, but then it, once it got there, it, uh, they scanned it in, you know, so I was like, ooh, so I got it, but anyways, I'm gonna show you my Halloween project, I wanted so bad to have this done before the fair, but the fair is, oh, it starts a week from tomorrow, um, September 3rd, I believe it is, uh, is the entry day, and I don't think there's any way I'm going to have this done unless June just starts being really nice. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. But anyways, I'm still working on it because I do want to get it done before Halloween. Uh, so that I can use it for the kids. Lord have mercy. Oh, my purple ball doesn't have its clip on it, so it's unraveling everywhere. <laughs> I got to also buy some more amethyst for it because I thought I had enough. And then I was like, oh yeah, I think I have enough to finish the background. And then I remembered I have to make a whole bunch of pockets with it too. So um, I'm definitely going to have to purchase some more amethyst. So let me pull my yarn up so I don't lose it. I have worked on this quite a bit. It's a lot bigger than the last time I showed it. It's just still not done. <laughs> All right, get out of the way. So here it is so far. It's that big. It's blown out. <laughs> Down there is that green stitch marker from where I last showed it. I still have like seven bobble rows to do of just gray, purple, gray, and then it starts um, being more gray and a little bit of black, purple, a little bit of black, gray to make the point of the roof. And then at some point there's a moon that I got to start putting yellow in. Um, so I'm getting there. It's just I don't have any time to set and crochet the last couple of weeks because June's just been a baby. You know, she's a baby. <laughs> she's been really grumpy this week. But I'm hope I'm thinking she's teething because she hasn't gotten any teeth yet. Jesse got his first tooth at five months. And then he, he started getting teeth really quick after that. And she hasn't gotten any, so I'm a little worried she might get a whole bunch of one time. But, um, so right now I only have three bobbins attached. I have a gray on each side and then the purple in the middle. So I have this ball and I have two scrap balls that are about that big, uh, left of my ball of amethyst. And then I will, I'll have to buy some more. So I might have enough amethyst to finish the house, but I'll definitely need more for the, uh, the pockets but they sell that at walmart so i'll just grab a bowl of it next time i'm at walmart so i'm working on that that's a paid for pattern i think it's by the left-handed crocheter i'll leave the link down below if you want to check it out but it will have 31 pockets on it uh, to put candy down in for every day of october i have one for valentine's day and i have one for christmas the christmas one is a sewn one that was sent to me a long time ago in happy mail as a panel and then i cut it out and made it um i'm trying to think of when it was i think it was 2018 or 2019 Maybe, uh, I think it's 2018, because Jesse was really small, and it was, I finished it right before I won that trip to Rock City. <laughs> I won a trip on Facebook from Rock City. It was overnight stay to, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and then uh, we got to go to Rock City, so it was me and Devin. We went by ourselves. We went, we came home on Christmas Eve. We went on the 23rd, and then came home on Christmas Eve, and it was a lot of fun. But anyways, 
I made that right before we went on the trip is why, is why that's like in my mind. All right, so for purchases today, I just went to the thrift store to look around, because I always do. And I found two like older cookbooks. I think they're, these ones were made in the 80s, but they were reprints from books made in the 60s, I'm pretty sure, if I was reading the copyright stuff right. So this one's Betty Crocker cookie book. I love making cookies, so it's got all kinds of cookie recipes in it, which I love. So that'll be fun to like dabble in, especially around the holidays. And this one's called Ideals. My lights flicker again. My light may go off. I think it's got short in it. I gotta get a new one. It's called Candy Cookbook by Mildred Brand. Whatever that is. But it's got a bunch of different candies and fudges and stuff like that in it. Which is stuff I love to make. So I'm looking really forward to uh, making these and maybe I'll share them with y'all um, as I make them. I don't see how sharing recipes isn't copyright, but you see, you see people doing it all the time. Like, you know, you're not supposed to share. Pay for patterns, but people share recipes all the time. It's weird. Doesn't make any sense. Whatever. But, um, my light is flickering. I hope it's not annoying. <laughs> so I got a huge Happy Meal package. Oh, wait. Other acquisitions. I got, um, these are, I use these for drawstrings for my drawstring bags. Got some of those. And I also bought some another one <laughs> some of these this is the hardware these are called snap closure hardwares um these are let's see they're they're uh i think i got the four and a half inch ones but they are what i use to make the hook cases that you squeeze to open i call them crab bags because of that motion <laughs> right there but i got two packs of those i think there's 20 in each of these yeah so 40 i'll make some of those eventually <laughs> i might start trying to make like a, a handful of them six or so for updates you know just throw them in there but uh, a lot of people have been asking about those hook cases so i want to um start making some more i like those because i can use a lot of scrap yarn or fabric uh for them because it takes small pieces of fabric to uh make those now this is a happy meal <laughs> i got this from chris and she sent me um she sent me this, uh, she sent me a lot of things over the years, and she messages me and stuff every now and then. So it's a really nice little package of, like, she, I know she just recently moved, so it's probably stuff that she found while she was moving, and she thought she'd just send it to me. So, first, there's a bag of ribbons, which I will find use for, and there are a lot of really pretty ones in here. Uh-oh, I hear the baby. It's ladybugs and flowers. Uh, some with cupcakes, and then some with polka dots, a zebra print one. This is, like, a tool one. And then we'll up here with skulls. <laughs> and on the back, there's also some, some right here. So ribbons for crafting. And then this is like a bag of miscellaneous stuff. <laughs> and she even kind of wrote that on there. It's got some pom-poms on there for hats. And it's, it's got some, um, some of these bag hook things. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. And then there's another bag in here. It's got like a, uh, just a bunch of random stuff in it different types of cords and things that she just added in there this was a piece that she had the bag tied with and I'm gonna keep that and use it for something here's the card that came with it it's just a thank you card put all this back in here I love getting stuff like this because it's, you know, it's like scrappy stuff to other people, but I can find uses for it. <laughs> so I'm excited about it. She also sent a little bag here with stuff for Jessie and it's got stickers and two of those little window things that you paint. Trying to stack these up. <laughs> okay. And she sent some fabrics and things. These are bandanas, but I can use them for fabric. Hot pink one. Really orange one and some more butterflies. He had to set her down. <laughs> And then there's some fabric. This has got like moon phases on it. So that's really cool. This one has got trains. This one's got cats. These are bigger pieces, but there's also some scrappy pieces in here. This has got coffee. <laughs> but I can still use scrappy pieces for uh, like crab bags, notion pouches. And uh, I've been saving my scraps too. Because eventually once I get enough of them of similar colors, I want to make like scrappy bags. This is a paw print one. And then, like, here's just a small piece of orange that I can use. This is a fat quarter of, like, a cheetah print. This is another fat quarter. Ooh, it's got, like, woodland animals on it. Uh, and then here's pretty blues. I like this one. This is mermaid, like, silhouettes. 
And then like this is a smaller piece of fabrics, but I can still use these. It's got skulls on. And what I can't use, I will pass on to someone else. So like a floral print. And then this is like a floral print. She's crying. Uh, see, these are smaller pieces, but again, I can use these for other things. I will find uses for them. So I love getting other people's, you know, it's kind of like their trash, <laughs> but uh, I can use it. And then there's some solid color pieces. Another floral. It's more of that purple. Uh, another little floral print. Music notes. This is, I can't tell if it's got flowers on it or not, or it's just like designs. <laughs> this looks like one of those painted pieces. I don't know if it is, but it looks like painted fabric. There's a bunch of it. <laughs> And then here's some more. I'm just going to kind of flip through it. <laughs> there's some. Um, this one that's got little flowers on it. Look right there and right there. And then there's some. There's this like cream and white color. I can use this lining fabric. Another floral print. And these ones, these ones I don't know what to use right away, but I'll find something for them. This is like silky fabric. I've never made anything with this kind of fabric before, but I will look into it maybe I can make some cool stuff with it I don't know <laughs> and then she also sent some yarn so let me put this fabric back in here so that oh okay and then so for yarn she sent me two balls of ice um they don't usually have a lot of information on them 100% acrylic it's called magic light it's a number three um, I didn't have the yardage on it, but it's really pretty. Two of those. And then there's a big twist classic, 100% acrylic, 690 yards of a number five bulky. And it's color gray. <laughs> so it's a big old, big twist. I haven't had to use much big twists. I pulled out some of the day someone gifted me and was using it. And then uh, that one, so that's cool. And then there's two of these. These are... Premium Yarn Knit and Crochet product is Bliss. It's 53% cotton, 34% anti-peel acrylic, and 13% polymod. 195 yards each. So number three. And the color is purple black. So there's two of those. There's also like a pink color in there inside of it. Two of those. And then there are three of these little balls. This is Elba. Baraco, Baraco Elba, 100% cotton. Um, it's got a number for a color, but it's like a mustard color. So it's three of those. This is like a chainette yarn. And then the last one is, I've never seen these ones either. Um, Multicolor Trend Cake, Madame Tricot Paris. Uh, 100% <laughs> acrylic, 394 yards, made in Turkey. Color is, uh, oh, it's a number. <laughs> I was just reading, trying to read another language. It's just this color in a different language, probably Turkish, I guess. Um, 624, but it's pretty like autumn colors. I like that. And it is a number three. And I saw somewhere the yardage, 394. So there's that. I've never, some of these I have never really seen. And then this is another piece of fabric that was on the bottom of that. And then she also sent a, this is one of those little magazines that's in when you buy a Crochet World magazine sometimes. So it's easy peasy afghans. <laughs> so it's got some afghan patterns in it. I feel like I have this. I think someone else gave this to me too. This looks familiar. Or maybe I've seen someone else looking at it. I don't know. But it's, oh wait. I think Terry from Nerdjoy made that. I think she made that blanket recently I'm pretty sure <laughs> but yes that's everything that Chris sent me so thank you so much Chris for that I wasn't expecting it until I seen it pop in there today but yeah so I've been dealing with the baby mostly doing homeschool doing house stuff just haven't had time to craft a lot mostly because of June like normally when she's in a better mood she'll play on the floor or in her high chair and I can get stuff done then but 
lately she has not been doing either that I have to hold her hand. I'm, I'm not sure if she's teething or if she has like a head cold or something. Because I know sometimes when they teeth they do get boogery. Um, so we'll see. I don't see any little bumps in there yet. I can't feel anything so I don't know. But anyways, I gotta put all this stuff up now. And I really hope I get to crochet on that. I want to get done by at least Halloween <laughs> before October. So I have September still to get done. At this point, I don't know if I'm going to enter anything in the fair. Just because uh, it's next Saturday that I would do it. And I don't know if I'm going to have the energy <laughs> to do it. Um, because of dealing with the baby. So I'm going to see how I feel next weekend. And then if I do, I'll just enter the few things I already have. And uh, go from there. <laughs> but I'm hoping, I'm working on some bags um, this coming week. So hopefully I'll have them up. When is Texas Friday? Maybe by Wednesday or Thursday next week. Um, cause that'll be money that we use at the fair. <laughs> That's what I told Jesse. I was like, I gotta make some bags so that we can go to the fair <laughs> and just have some frivolous money to spend, um, on food. <laughs> My favorite part of the fair is, uh, there's a guy there that makes roasted corn on the cob. I love getting those. <laughs> and, uh, of course, fair food is delicious. And I told Devin, I was like, calories do not count at the fair. <laughs> so I'm gonna put all this stuff up. We're gonna find somewhere to put it all. And uh, I still haven't put up that yarn that Connie gave me. It's still in the bags. I gotta find somewhere to put it. But I got to um, figure out what to do with all this stuff and organize my craft area. She's been getting piled up. And then I got to start making bags and I need to start crocheting. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing a collaboration in a few weeks with someone, but I haven't got to work on a project for it. So I don't know if I'm gonna get that done. But, uh, yeah, so since I didn't get to ask you on Wednesday, what are you guys doing? What are you working on? Let me know down below. Feel free to share any links. Also, let me know what you're doing for dinner because I have no idea. We'll probably do something super easy tonight because we've been gone most of the day. We just got back a little while ago. Um, luckily before it started storming. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I will see you guys hopefully in another video soon. And if I think about it, I might insert some clips at the end that I took the last few days in between uh, June being grumpy. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess that's it. Bye, guys. Now for the final one. You gonna stop? <laughs> what are you gonna stop for? <laughs> Achoo. 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 Didn't you? You slept hard. Look at your face. It's all red. <laughs> <laughs>